everybody, welcome to the channel. Hey guys, we're your hosts, M and J, and today we decided to check out Hilda, a Netflix original series. We actually only knew about this show thanks to word of mouth. We didn't see any promotional material for it from Netflix, which is unfortunate because it's a really good show and people deserve to know about it. Created by Luke Pearson, Hilda started off as a graphic novel before it was brought to Netflix as a cartoon. The show follows a girl named Hilda who lives in a world where humans exist alongside mythical creatures like trolls, elves, and ghosts. But her biggest challenge is actually moving from her home in the wilderness to a big city called Trollberg. The show is often compared to Gravity Falls, though I don't really think that's fair. Even though they deal with a lot of the same concepts like the supernatural and folklore, Hilda has its own unique identity. It's more like if you're already a fan of Gravity Falls, you'll probably like Hilda too. This show is really great at world building, which we're big fans of. Pretty much each episode introduces a new creature, a lot of which is pulled from real-world mythology, but it's also really cool to see this show's take on them. The ghosts, for example, actually have their bones still with them, which I'd say is pretty different from how ghosts are usually portrayed. I also like how they don't have to worry about hiding the supernatural from the public at large. Everybody's aware of it, and it's just a part of the world they live in. These things really help to make this world feel unique and fleshed out, and it makes us interested in finding out what else is out there that we haven't seen yet. While the series doesn't have an overarching plot, each episode leads into the next one. There are a lot of callbacks in the show. Even the later episodes will call back to something that happened in the first few episodes. The show is pretty laid back. Sometimes the stakes do get raised pretty high, but for the most part, it's kind of an adventure slice of life. Following the story of this little girl who's adjusting to change, meeting new people, and coming across new things. Hilda is a very active protagonist. She's usually the one that's pushing the plot forward. She likes to consider herself an adventurer, so she's not afraid to face whatever is out there. This can also end up getting her into trouble because she sometimes ends up jumping into things without thinking them all the way through. But she is able to recognize when she makes a mistake and she works hard to fix it. She's a well-balanced character, though sometimes it feels like she has to learn the same lesson over again about how even with good intentions, you still have to think about the consequences consequences of your actions. That being said, it's easy to see why she's the main character. She has a go get em attitude, and it's good to see active main characters. Hilda lives with her mother and has a pet deer fox, Twig. Twig is super smart and cute and a good boy, and I wish he was real. Hilda's mother, Joanna, is a pretty strong character. She encourages her daughter's free-spirited nature, but she also tries to get her to open her mind to new things, like when Hilda is very skeptical of Trollberg when she first moves there. She's actually pretty observant, especially for a cartoon parent. She usually figures out the antics that her daughter and her daughter's friends are getting up to. It would be nice if the show included her more in the actual plots of the episodes, especially considering the fact that half the time she finds out about it anyway. Things would probably be easier if they just told Joanna what was going on. Instead, Hilda has a bad habit of going behind her mother's back. This never works out, Hilda. You're smart enough to figure this out. We don't get to learn much about her family history, though we are interested in it. Her grandfather is mentioned as the one who built their house in the wilderness, and it'd be interesting to find out more about him. Hilda's mother was said to grow up in the city, but Hilda grew up in the wilderness, and that was the only home she ever knew. So it'd be interesting to find out why they moved out there, especially considering the fact that they were the only humans there for miles. Joanna is said to be a single parent, and we don't get any information about Hilda's father. Maybe they moved out there because Joanna married him and it was Hilda's paternal grandfather who built the cabin. It would also be nice to see Joanna's history in Trollberg, like catching up with old friends from when she was in school, or if her parents still lived there. But when they moved to Trollberg, they don't know anyone. But Hilda eventually warms up to the place and makes some new friends in Frida and David. Frida is a young girl who likes to take charge and prides herself on being organized and getting good grades, while David is a shy boy who doesn't like to step out of his comfort zone often, but he is a pretty loyal friend who's there when they need him, although he does choose to sit out sometimes. I can't really blame him though with some of the antics they get up to. The three have a pretty good dynamic. They deal with the culture shock of city kids meeting a kid from the wilderness, and they're mostly pretty good at coming to an understanding. However, the kids get into a pretty big fight towards the second half of the season that ends up spanning over multiple 
episodes. Some pretty hurtful things are said, and also things are thrown, and without spoiling too much, it does get resolved, but they did kind of move on pretty quickly without really talking about it. They don't even really apologize to each other, and I think it would have been good to include that. Friends do argue, and I think it is important to show kids that just because you get into a fight with your friends doesn't mean that your relationship is over, but I also think it's important to show that apologies are really important too, and they're an important part of patching things up. The last character we want to talk about is Alfer, the elf. He was Hilda's neighbor back when she lived in the wilderness, but joins her on her adventures in Trollberg so he can report back to the elves about humans. He ended up being our favorite character. He has a lot of really quotable lines, and he's often the voice of reason. He's really expressive and adorable. The elves in the show are really obsessed with contracts and paperwork, and that sounds kind of boring, but Alpha actually makes it sound funny and cute. The animation in this show is beautiful, and it really brings the characters and the world to life. It's very fluid and consistent, which is really important for a cartoon. I also appreciate the attention to detail, whether it's the world at large or the characters themselves. For example, during wide shots or establishing shots, they simplify the characters so that way they don't lose their flow and the details don't get lost in the environment. The colors are really nice and vibrant and adds a lot of atmosphere to the show. They do a nice job with shading and the lighting effects. It adds a lot of detail to every time of day and it's really nice that they went that extra mile. The characters have a thick outline that look like they were drawn with pencil. It gives the show a sketchbook feel to it, which is a nice choice because it started as a graphic novel and it's like they brought that aspect of it into the animation. It adds to the charm of the show and helps it stand out from other modern cartoons. When it comes to humor, this show chooses to have jokes peppered throughout rather than stopping everything for a comedic bit. This is really nice because it keeps the pace of the show and it doesn't stop everything to try to make the audience laugh. During a scene, a character will say something funny and then they'll just continue with the scene. So there's more focus on the story than there is on the jokes, but the audience can still have those moments of levity and they can still have some laughs throughout. The humor isn't really laugh out loud humor, but it's very enjoyable and it doesn't distract from everything else in the show. Can't you just say, you can do it? Sure, you can do it. Statement for encouragement purposes only. You may not actually be able to do it. Overall, this is a charming show that really deserved more attention than it got. It has an adventurous spirit, but it's also pretty down to earth. It's pretty relaxing, but it's not afraid to raise the stakes when it needs to. So it's overall a really enjoyable experience. We do wish that they handled some things a little bit better, like that fight and have Hilda grow a little bit more as a character, but she is still a child and she shows a lot of strength in her character. And she's still very likable, so with a lot of great atmosphere, a cast of likable characters and interesting world building, we would definitely recommend this show. But what do you guys think? Have you seen Hilda and are you interested in seeing more episodes? Did you see advertisements for this or did you find it through word of mouth like we did? But we'd love to hear from you so leave a comment down below and you can subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone! Bye guys!